Hello and welcome to Learn the Washboard, episode 17, The Samba. If you got any questions about anything we're gonna go over, leave it down below in the comments feed. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you get to see all the new videos. But let's go over the basic Samba pattern. Uh, I've written it out here, I'll, I'll have it floating in the video up above you. It's two downbeats, one, two, then a rest and an upbeat, one and two and three and a rest and another upbeat on the end of four, one, two, three and four. It's two bars, second bar, the downbeat is a rest and the upbeat a one. So all through it, one, two, three, and four, and then the next bar is one, and a full rest, two, and, and then it finished the way you started with two downbeats, three, four. So the second bar is one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, three, one, two, and two, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three. Let's do the first bar and the second bar together. We'll do it nice and slow. I'll count out all the eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Terrific. Let's try to pick it up just a tiny bit. Remember, when you learn something new, do it so slow. Do it so slow, it hurts. It can be really hard to play incredibly slow but that's when those synapses in your brain get connected and, and it really gets uh, deep and in, deep into your mind so ready one and two and three and four and Practice it everywhere. Just tap that out on your legs. Traffic lights waiting in line at the grocery. And you're talking to your friends. I say, so what do you think about uh, my... You say, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm practicing the samba on my knee. And I'm like, hey, you're always tapping on, on your knee. My whole life, people always yelled at me for tapping. When I was a little kid, my, my mom yelled at me at, at dinner, playing on the plates. Uh, now... Now my wife yells at me because while I'm doing it, I make the kids start tapping on everything and we all, <laughs> we all become a percussion ensemble. Well, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let's pick it up a little bit, right? One and two and three and four and two, two, three. We'll do that, but we'll add eighth notes with our right hand. And we'll uh, we'll do that pattern. Ba, ba, ta, ba, 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 ba. The classic samba pattern with our left hand. Like everything, we're gonna start it nice and slow. You ready? One, two, three. We'll speed it up to like a, a medium pace and I'll put the accent on the washboard. Ready? What? It's pretty terrific, man. It sounds, it sounds so good. 
Where you play it, you can mix it around. Remember, in I believe it was episode 15, we talked about all the different Latin instruments and how you can put them different places. You could have a cowbell, you can do a maracas, you could do a guitar. Uh, but say you do maracas and a cowbell, and then you play your samba and a cowbell. I mean, you could do any, that cut through, maybe you get to, uh, it's like a, a bridge part. I mean, it could just be the base of the song. It's, it's the dance part, but we're gonna step it up one final level and put in that bass drum part. This is where the exercises we learned in the previous video really come in handy. Uh, Cause where your foot and the accents, where they link in, you really gotta tighten this up. Because it, when it's played fast, you can't have, uh, drummers call it a flame, when, when things just hit off of each other. Uh, that being said, you know, you're, you're not, uh, you're a washboard player. It, it, it can be, it can be a little, it can be a little fuzzy. Everybody in the crowd's probably drinking moonshine anyway. <laughs> they won't notice if it's not too perfect. But, but play it slow and, and slowly speed it up. Remember, our bass drum part is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So we're gonna do that. Eighth notes on the right hand. And our samba pattern on the left hand. But we'll start it really slow. I'll play it for a little bit so you can uh, Play along with me uh, at home too. Uh, let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four. Right, you get the idea that you see how that left hand when it, the accent locks in with the foot, whether it's on the first one, doom doom, or the second one, doom doom. And as you go through the end of the first bar, the beginning of the first bar, uh, it alternates. That's the tricky part. That's why I said we should work on those exercises in the in the previous one. So if you just came to this and it's not really making any sense, go back a video uh, and try that. Never give up. You know, some people are, are really clever and they're incredibly coordinated and they just look at it here one or two times and they play it. Uh, those people are going to be world-class musicians. Uh, then there's the rest of us, you know, that you just have to keep chipping away at it. Never give up. Just keep trying and working on it, tapping on your legs while you're waiting for the light to change. And all of a sudden, it starts to make sense. Listen to where it's playing. Uh, I heard somebody say, you're ready to play it in public at a gig when you can read a newspaper out loud while you're playing the rhythm, when it's that locked into your brain. Like I said, we're playing the washboard. They're probably drinking moonshine and don't know what you're doing. Anyway, the most important thing is that you relax and have fun. So we'll try it a little bit quicker now. One and two and three and four. Let's try it up to speed now. One. Well, that's it. That is the basic 
samba rhythm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We're going to do bossa nova in the next video. If you got any questions about anything, leave it down below in the comments feed. I try to get back to everybody that asks a question. Uh, smash that like button, click on subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'll, I'll play you out with it a little bit now. Uh, we'll do uh, the eighth notes on the board, sort of like a maraca, and we'll do the uh, samba pattern on the frying pan, like a cowbell. Maybe you have a, a coffee cup or something, but a, a high-pitched thing that'll cut through. Bass drum on the kick. I'll see you next time. One, two, three, four.